soon as WikiLeaks had started to publish the State Department cables. This was also the time when Julian was arrested over the Swedish um, allegations. This all happened within a week. Um, so it all came down at the same time. And then these major media organizations who had partnered with WikiLeaks um, then turned against Julian. And basically, I think I think the objective was to try to kill off WikiLeaks because, mm. because it was a competitor, because um, uh, it has had such an important impact and was a newcomer and uh, a, a threat to the kind of gate gatekeeper function that we all know. Um, so we do have a... We have a, a montage of some MSNBC hosts reacting to Assange. I was wondering if you would roll that, Zach. Um, and then we'd love to get your reaction. I have a follow-up question after that. Many establishment journalists in the U.S. consider Julian Assange to be a criminal whose work doesn't fit in the same category as their own. No journalism here. What we have is an act of espionage. The wholesale dumping of WikiLeaks actually isn't journalism. If you help in the stealing of classified material, nothing about the First Amendment is going to insulate you from charges that you stole, regardless of whether or not you publish it. I mean, you learn that day one in news business school. I find this whole montage very funny because we've actually seen this sort of reiterated, um, you know, basically from this time all the way up until now. I mean, it's still a thing that people talk about, maybe not with the specific espionage framing, but there's this line drawn between, well, these people are journalists over here, but these other people surely don't qualify. And so therefore their First Amendment protections ought to be different. How how do you feel when you see you know, MSNBC hosts treating Julian Assange this way, Stella? Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of, um, it's a bit disappointing because the criticisms that they um, use are just simply not true. Um, you had uh, Maria Ressa there. She she was a CNN um, presenter, and then um, uh, she's a Nobel Peace Prize winner and has herself um, faced uh, political prosecution because of her journalism. And it's really disappointing uh, that she says something like uh, WikiLeaks dumping. This is one of the um, major uh, mis, uh, say, distortions concerning WikiLeaks. Uh, WikiLeaks does privilege uh, the publication of archives, but it doesn't just dump. It's, uh, you know, it, it provides co context. It writes up context. Uh, it writes up analyses. Um, it it um, has redacted uh, information and states the, the criteria for redactions and so on. Um, but even so, I mean, all of this is really irrelevant, whether Julian's a journalist or not. The question is, is Julian accused of journalism? And he is. It is the activity that has been criminalized, um, not um, whether he uh, falls into a category or not. Uh, it's the category of the activity that is being criminalized, uh, receiving, obtaining, and uh, communicating information to the public. Hey, thanks for watching that clip from our new show, Just Asking Questions. You can watch another clip here or the full episode here. New episodes drop every week, so subscribe to Reason TV's YouTube channel to get notified when that happens or to the Just Asking Questions podcast on Apple, Spotify, or any other podcatcher. See you next week.